Right. First score for Katie Rowland is a 9-0-1-2. Here's the second bolt. Now her second bolt is not as valuable. Suk Pike, but what an admirable job filling in at the last moment for Fournier. 8-5-3-7 for vault number two to average out at 8-7-7-4. Here's Lisa Mason of England, qualified with a 9-1-3-7 on the vault. Front front pike, St. Vault is rolling, had some big air time, but when vaulting, it comes down to the landing, and you know she's giving away valuable marks with that huge step forward. Off the horse, she looks really good, but she needs to bump it right up and open up now. Holds on a little bit too late. Has to over rotate. That'll be one to two tenths just for the step alone. Disappointed not to have won a medal in the all around competition. 9 0 7 5 for the first ball. Suk half front layout. Now that's the landing she was looking for. A valuable ball. 9 8 start value, so the judges are really going to be impressed. Big marks to average out at 9 2 3 1 for Lisa Mason, who wins the vault gold for England, their first in women's competition. McIntosh of Australia and Annika Reeder of England are 2 and 3, respectively. To the uneven bars, and a big chance for Canada's Veronique Leclerc from Granby, Quebec. Now, she's usually strong on the vault, but she's been outstanding throughout the Commonwealth Games on this apparatus. Uh, absolutely, Scott. She's one of the few Canadians that actually has a full 10-point start value. Shaposhnikova right to overshoot. You know she's a medal contender just because she starts out of 10. Huge swing. Coach Michel Charon admits that Veronique still has some execution errors he's been working on. Leg separation there. And there, that will cost her a total of two tens. But look at that. High flying to catch of release. Winding up. She's got some big swing. Double layout. Finds the floor easily. And a big smile from the 17-year-old as she's greeted by her personal coach, Michelle Charon. Veronique Leclerc with a great score. It's a 9 5 5 0 for Leclerc of Canada. Here's Lisa Skinner of Queensland, Australia, 17 years old, came in with a 9 5 8 7. Great score to qualify. But you know, Scott, Veronique has put the pressure on Lisa. She's really going to have to deliver now. They both have a 10 point start value, so it will come down to execution. Now the coach can step in to spot the big release move. There's the ginger. He didn't touch her, so there is no deduction. And quite honestly, Scott, I haven't seen an execution deduction either. Skinner is impeccable. So much depth for the Australians. One, two, and three in the individual all-around competition. The dismount is critical. What color will the medal be? Hangs on, and the color will definitely be gold for 17-year-old Lisa Skinner of Australia. That score is a 9-6-1-2. On the unevens, it's Skinner of Australia striking gold. Veronique Leclerc breaks through for Canada with a strong silver medal performance in KL. I'm very happy and very proud of my, of my routine. Um, I didn't do so good the, the other day, so bars is one of my best events, so I'm very happy to when uh, Canada rolling at Putra Stadium. More with Scott Russell and Carol Angela Orchard when we come back to Putra Stadium. One of the marquee events of women's gymnastics is the floor exercise, and one athlete who's been making an impression is 14-year-old Holly Murdoch of Northern Ireland. Oh, that's for sure, Scott. She captivated the hearts of the audience on day one, and she's continued to do so with this beautifully choreographed floor routine. Up by handspring, two and a half. Scott, she didn't get her feet pulled under her far enough, could not punch into the air. I was talking to her coach, Tony Byrne, and he said that she's really struggling to find the timing of this floor exercise. Under the carpet, there are foam cubes, and they propel the gymnast up into the air, but every floor has a different timing. And Holly's really struggling to find, to find the timing. She's 
found a place for herself on the British national team, but delighted to be performing for Northern Ireland here. Now she has too much energy. Over rotated that line. You're right, Scott. She's very proud to represent Northern Ireland. She trains through tremendous adversity there. Double tuck. Such a beautiful athlete. 7562, a disappointing score for such a wonderful gymnast. Now, here is the class of the field when it comes to the women's floor exercise. 18 year old Annika Reeder of England. She won the gold medal four years ago in Victoria. Double layout. With an opening line like that, she may indeed be the only gymnast to defend her title from 94. No one else has been able to maintain their standards since Victoria. Front handspring, front one and a half, back handspring, double twist, punch front right out of it. She's in great shape. Attica was also part of the gold medal winning team from Victoria in 94. Scott, she knows how to win. It'll come down to the final tumbling line. Front handspring, front full, front pike. She's not done yet. Now, unlike Holly, that's struggling with the timing of the floor, Annika is punching through it exactly right. She's going to try and get some air before the final run. Double pike finish, that's a big line, Scott. Annika Reeder of England on the floor exercise. As she's greeted by her coach, Vincent Waldock, and the English team, and an outstanding score of 9.675. So floor exercise gold stays with Annika Reeder. Australians win silver and bronze. Canada's Katie Rowland, a strong fourth. To the balance beam. And young Australian, 14-year-old Trudy McIntosh, they overheard the Australian commentators calling her the pocket rocket. And you have to be impressed with the stability this 14-year-old has displayed day after day this week. There's one simple reason for that. New national team coach, American Peggy Lydic, has taken these athletes around the world over the past year She's put them in every international meet she can find. And it results in automatic pilot performances like that. Three element tumbling line to a straight body layout. That's phenomenal. Trudy had an amazing 9.725 to qualify for this final. When an athlete can get international experience, an abundance of international experience, there's no doubt in their mind they can perform under pressure just like that. Punch front. In combination. A very confident young lady. This is the best prepared team from Australia I've seen in a long time. Holds on to the roundup double pike. 14-year-old Trudy McIntosh, 9-5-5-0 on the balance beam. She was third in the all-around competition. There is her coach, Peggy Lettick. Here's Zena McLaughlin, 17 years old, the senior member of this Australian team, and of course, the all-around Commonwealth champion. And talk about stability. The round-off layout mount that continues to tumble through is so difficult to do. She has to be straight right from her running approach to the B-board. Very calm, very determined. And lots of degree of difficulty. Punch front salto. Almost everything Xena does is in combination and that impresses the judges. Now this is the one skill she'll do alone. 
because it is intricate. Rufova. And to answer your silent question, yes, it hurts. <laughs> the gymnasts usually train that skill with a mat over top of the beam to protect themselves, but in competition, the mat must come off. Great jump combination. Switch split through the switch split quarter into a Shishinova position. Zena and her teammates are truly performing like a team that is ranked among the top six nations in the world. Double pike, a little short on some tired legs, but she holds on to it beautifully. 9-3-7-5, can't match her teammate Trudy McIntosh, but still a great routine for Zena McLaughlin. Now here's Canada's Lise Leveille from Burnaby, BC. She'll be competing here with her mom in the audience. Her mom, Patty, traveled all the way here from British Columbia. And you know there's a proud mom sitting in the audience going through every inch of this beam routine with Lee's. Back handspring, layout, layout. Look at the stability on that. Just to let you know that Canada's Emily Fournier is back in the gym. The x-rays proving negative, no injury at all, and that's good news for Canada as Lise Leveille competes. That is good news. Very impressive consistency. Lise has shown that through Pacific Alliance and again at the Commonwealth Games. So she is really establishing herself on the national team as a reliable member. That's exactly what Canada will need as they head into the 1999 World Championships in hopes of ranking among the top 12 nations in the world to qualify for the Olympic Games. Very intricate jump combinations that turn the extended tuck three-quarter, lands blind, and just the double back dismount. You hear the bell? She's got 10 seconds to get off. Round off double back. And Lise Levier sticks another beam routine in international competition. Canadians are happy with that. There's her coach, Nancy Beyer. Australians gold and silver, McIntosh and McLaughlin. But Lise Levier delivers a sixth medal on the day for the Canadian gymnastics team. Your mom was here to see you win a Commonwealth Games medal. What's that like, Lise? Oh, it's really nice. I'm so glad she's here. And I'm really happy that she came. And it was really exciting.